In this video, we're going to take a look at how to play the Rod Stewart song, Maggie May. That it for the acoustic guitar, because the little bit I played there is obviously played on mandolin on the record by Ray Jackson of Lindisfarne, uh, and who didn't get the credit that he deserved for that. Interesting, a lot of interesting uh, facts about this uh, particular song. Most confusing thing, it's dead simple. But the most confusing thing is probably uh, the intro. Uh, there's almost like two intros because if you listen to the album version, there's a mandolin piece before the song starts. But the uh, the famous uh, intro is played on two guitars, and therefore you see lots of different guitar tabs with loads of 101 ways of how to do it, which are all totally confusing. So this is kind of what I've got. Start off with. <laughs> see the corresponding chords uh, above that melody line which is D, 1, 2, 3, 4, E minor, G, D, D, D E minor, G, D, D minor, G and then this, the actual song starts. So it's a pretty simple melody, try playing it along with the track. Uh, you could incorporate the chords so you could play it like that and the guitar tabs obviously on the screen to save me shouting out all the numbers I'll play it really now all you need to know is the verse and the chorus and I'll play that through verse and chorus and it keeps the, the structure of the song it just keeps repeating so starting off on here wake up Maggie I think I got something to say to you it's late September and I really should be back at school So really this structure keeps repeating. So for the first verse, you've got that A. Wake up, Maggie, I J. I've got something to say to you. One, two, three, four. It's late September and a J. Da, 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 da. And then the structure is really verse and chorus again, verse and chorus again. We then have a guitar solo. I'm not going to go on, I think that's for a separate video, a gu the guitar solo, but the chords we need on acoustic guitar to play as the guitar solo and as is A minor, A, D, G. Have the verse and chorus again then a second guitar solo where we're going to play what we've just played uh, I'll play it through it's probably easier than so E minor A D G And then on 
the D we start the mandolin solo. I've wrote the chords above that and really that just keeps the mandolin solo just keeps repeating throughout the entire song. And adapted we've got this which is kind of simplified and we've got a third fret of B open second third on A to the fifth three two four to the third of D open second of G of the open B. So we've got that. And then it repeats and fades. So that's a quick lesson and I hope that helps you be able to play Maggie May by Rod Stewart.